okay so uh, today we will learn about uh, informatica rev which is an etl tool which can be used to load data in salesforce wave analytics we have already uh, tried salesforce uh, the salesforce method of uh, you know uploading data in uh, wave analytics uh, so we will uh, continue our journey with informatica rev so so basically what is informatica rev uh, first i'll uh, give you a small uh, brief review of csv uh, so that you uh, get to understand the difference between these two because uh, both of them uh, in both of them we can upload csv and uh, then create a data set so you will understand the difference better if i um if i upload a csv and then show you uh, the results okay so so let me search for a csv file here if i have a csv file i'll upload it um using the csv option see so this is a small sample csv file basically a uh, csv file is a comma separated uh, values file uh, here i can uh, put anything uh, like uh, this is the order id and name let me say the pojal order description is um, let let me say perfume okay so few more fragrance next let me um, enter another another value 246 okay so basically uh, csv file will be something like this so um, it will contain the data uh, in this format and then we can uh, we can you know open csv uh, file or we can uh, create a new csv file from our excel uh, from our excel sheet and then we can uh, go on to file save as and then in save as we'll see an option which says comma separated values so this is csv so this will be a field order id will become a field name will become a field and order description will become a field so these are the fields uh, there are three fields order id name and order description so the columns uh, column headers will become the fields and uh, these are the these are the values okay so first record is uh, the order id is 213 name is wdfc and order description description is any sample data uh, second the order id is 123 uh, name is edc and order description is chwebc uh, so this is uh, 2145 uh, name is dipojal and order description is perfume or fragrance so i have saved it in csv format so um, now now let me close it okay so um, so this is my csv file uh, let me name it test dot uh, csv okay so now what i need to do is uh, now i'll select this file from desktop okay i've selected this file i'll click on open so the, uh, there are two options preview data and create data set let me name it uh, test data okay so i can also preview data as you can see uh, order id appears here name appears here and order description this way okay so uh, <coughs> i'm sorry i think i just closed the test 
yeah okay test dot csv now uh, this is the metadata file uh, which is generated just after we add test dot csv and this is test dot json okay so what does test dot json have it it is a kind of metadata it will have some data regarding uh, data regarding our data so like for example what is the type of uh, that particular uh, field C uh, it will be something like this objects connector CSV full qualified name is test underscore CSV this is uh, the name of your uh, you know name of the data set label is test dot CSV name test underscore CSV these are the fields okay so order underscore id uh, and the type will be numeric um, and uh, label is obviously order id uh, precision means you know uh, it will be 18 digit in digits and uh, okay uh, scale is zero uh, so basically the, uh, this this thing is for uh, your decimal points uh, i can have one decimal point two decimal point and all these things uh, next is uh, full uh, next is name and the type is text um, uh, label is name you know i can change uh, change many things here in the json uh, i've downloaded if i uh, change it to name 111 then uh, the label of this you know uh, label of this particular field will be name 111 okay so this is order desc let me name it order description let it stay as it is uh, if i if i save it into a json file a test.json or if i save it into a json file and uh, upload it again where is it saved it's okay let me save it on desktop uh, okay see this is the test.json if i upload it uh, if i upload this test.json here this test.json then um, it would be order description and not order desc okay uh, so let me name it this test underscore data now i'll click on create data set it says it will be created within an hour test underscore data right so uh, i'll uh, search for this data set uh, it will be available after a few minutes and i should be able to see that data set see test underscore data this is the data that i uploaded right now okay uh, see it has five rows okay uh, exactly five rows all the rows which i created let me see it in values table uh, see uh, the name the label is uh, order description and not order desc because i changed it in json which is the met metadata file uh of uh, whatever i upload uh you know of whatever file we upload uh there in csv okay so i could change the, these things in csv uh, uh sorry in um in my me uh, metadata file which is the json file okay now as you can see this is the uploaded data um and uh, this is my uploaded data and you know uh, the order is never kept in mind so the order has been shuffled um, but that's but that's okay okay so okay so uh, this was the order in my in my original file so what i'll do now is this was a csv um, I 
can also show you an example of a better CSV file. Okay, this is quota with sales. I'll upload this one. Uh, let me click on create. Let me click on data set. Okay. Let me click, click on CSV. Let me click on select a file. Actually, all this data is kept in one drive that's why it's taking so much time to load this was actually downloaded to desktop first and then it was open it was not present in desktop okay so this is uh, kind of sample data okay so this is my sample data so if I upload it uh, using CSV uh, I'll have many rows and many columns to test quota uh, with sales dot CSV okay it is present there uh, let me say let me name it this way uh, you can also preview data see this is how the data will look like okay so these are the fields and uh, these are the values you can see these are the values okay so the data set will be created uh, in this manner okay so this is how we upload a csv now let's come to uploading files using informatica rev okay so what it does is it is an ETL tool so in ETL tool extract transform and load uh, in an ETL tool we can uh, we can perform many operations and we uh, it is really flexible we can uh, perform many operations like for example I want to remove a column which doesn't have any values okay one column is there uh, which has all null values and it doesn't have any you know any kind of uh, information which makes sense okay so since there's no information that makes sense in that particular um, column I can uh, I can always I can always remove that column using informatica rev and informatica rev uh, is intelligent enough that it will suggest me many uh, many of these things like you can remove a column which has null values and all these things uh, so this is informatica rev okay so I'll click on new project and I'll click on okay I'll type the name of the project let me say it is test I've already created a test project okay I can open that one also okay This is my test project. I can uh, upload. I can upload many other um, files. Okay. So this is. Um, this is the screen uh, of our um, informatica rev um, when I create a new project it will appear something like this so uh, these are some of the uh, buttons we need to understand and what what they actually do uh, and we'll get to know that informatica rev, rev is uh, is a really powerful tool 
uh, which we can use to perform many operations before we load uh, the data in wave analytics for example we can perform some analysis on the data we can remove null uh, like columns which have all, all null values we can remove um, you know we can change the data type of any uh, particular column uh, like for example this is the type this is number I can I can click on always treat as text so it, uh, the data type of this sales order number will become text okay so this is how we uh, change the data type also we have many options uh, you know you have many options in Informatica Rev uh, so we'll we'll explore them one by one okay so let me click on import here uh, I can not um, not just import a CSV file I can also pull in an XLSX file so XLSX file uh, is basically Excel form file Microsoft Excel if we create a simple data um, data file in uh, Microsoft Excel like for example all our, all our data is uh, uh, managed in Microsoft Excel then I can just pull in that data uh, using this XLSX option I'll just uh, click on XLSX and then we'll find the Excel file and then upload uh, that particular data here okay So I can also uh, you know um, the, this is uh, basically a file flat file and uh, I can also lo load the data using any of these uh, you know any of these uh, options okay so I can click on CSV I've clicked on CSV and I'll click on choose file and uh, I created a test data right okay let me open this one we'll click on continue so it's uploading the CSV file time since it has uh, many records too many records so uh, basically uh, now what it is doing is it is analyzing the uh, file CSV file it analyzes the file and it uh, it determines the fields of various uh, you know uh, what is the type of a field uh, of a particular field it uh, determines uh, the types it determines the values that it contains value ranges so that's why it's taking some time to analyze this particular data whatever is loaded here so it will analyze and then it will give me some suggestions like this column is empty uh, so you can remove this column or uh, you can say this column has uh, so many text values but a few are numbers so do you want to convert it to a text type or you know something like that uh, you know you can uh, convert the, uh, the type to text you can convert the type to uh, date it actually analyzes the uh, type of fields uh, type of fields and uh, all the value ranges and all these things so that's why it takes some time so it's importing the data okay so uh, so now the data has been uploaded and now it's loading so this was import import button using this button we can uh, import any data from our um, you know our computer and as you can see this is the data that is uh, that is loaded now I can 
I'll wait for a few minutes until this loading completes. Okay. See, as you can see that uh, it has determined the type of columns and uh, uh, these these are the value ranges uh, like if I select this one Kentucky value frequencies US 915 a 959 Kentucky if I select this one only only those fields will be shown here see there are 91 records it says there are 91 records for US 959 Kentucky there are 90 records for US 958 uh, DC4 if I select this one also US 958 DC4 C uh, so 90 records for this US 951 959 Kentucky then see uh, so we can select any kind of uh, value range here and it will filter out the whole uh, whole uh, you know uh, whole excel sheet using that particular value now this was about value frequencies now as you can see it has determined the uh, type as text and here it has determined the type as number right so I can uh, I can convert this uh, text uh, text type or number type in in my you know into any type I want let me tree let me click on this thing which says always uh, treat as text okay so if I click on this the this will change the type of this territory ID to text okay so it will uh, treat territory ID as text field and not a number field okay so now the type has become text okay so for 348 we have 919 records okay so if i select 348 only only uh, territory ids having 348 value will be selected okay if i select if i deselect it uh, then all the values will become uh, visible okay so i have changed the type of this uh, particular field and uh, as you can see I can filter out uh, based on value frequencies I can also you know search for a particular value frequency let me say 322 see uh, 322 is available I'll click on uh, 322 and only territory IDs with, uh, with 322 with the value 322 will be available here okay so it says 503 of 39,501 rows so it says that uh, I have selected 503 rows out of the 39,501 rows available in this particular data okay so this is about filtering the data and uh, for suggestions we have no suggestions here as of now see uh, this is sales order date okay uh, and now I'm getting a suggestion which says extract fiscal quarter and year so this is order date right so I can also extract the quarter in which quarter it was sold and um, you know in which uh, you know year it was sold so I can uh, extract year and quarter from this particular date date field okay let me say uh, I'll select these 2015 12 1231 and then I'll uh, see so after I click on extract fiscal quarter and year uh, you will see two new uh, columns that will appear I've clicked on it and uh, two new fields will appear the sales order uh, <coughs> sales order date uh, fiscal quarter and sales order date fiscal year okay so uh, so now the 
this is how we can transform the data we we have extracted a quarter and year from here uh, let me select four quarter four so for quarter four we have these many number of records okay and this is the year 2015 and as you can see um, from the date we can uh, infer 2015 12 30 so from the date we hey, we can uh, infer that uh, it is the 12th month right so for 12th month it is obviously the fourth um, quarter so this is how it um, extracts that data and makes some meaning meaningful data out of the data uh, present already uh, already present there let me deselect it okay so uh, this is how suggestions work informatica rev uh, and now i'll show you some more options uh, this was uh, import right and this is export using export i can uh, export it to salesforce uh, wave analytics and i'll click on new connection and then i'll uh, enter uh, all these details like name username password security token okay name will be the name of data set okay and here i can enter uh, the security token um, and security token can be generated security token can be generated from uh, here reset my security token if you click on it you will uh, get a security token on your mail dipojal.chakrabarti at wipro.com let me check i did not get a email as of now so uh, what i'll do is i'll simply enter the security token if i receive that security token uh, i don't know why i'm not receiving that mail uh, i'll I'll enter the security token here as it is and then I'll click on save and then uh, I'll click on OK. So what it will do is it will create a um, data set with the name test data set on my Salesforce Wave Analytics um, and this will be the data that will be created there. So import and export. Export obviously we can uh, export it in CSV format uh and other formats also we can also schedule it you know uh, schedule is like uh we can schedule it at any time like uh, we want to schedule it at 12 pm so it will uh, be uploaded at 12 pm so this way um so this is undo uh undo filter okay if i click on undo undo filter it will uh, undo the previous filter which I uh, you know which I created like for example if I uh, if I change the sales uh, date you know I, I create two new uh, columns which uh, which is quarter and uh, year uh, and then I click on this thing this undo then it will remove those uh, two fields uh, which I created okay so uh, this this is undo undo that particular uh, filter uh, or whatever I uh, performed and redo will obviously do it again so this is uh, the same thing that we use in our uh, Microsoft uh, Word or Excel undo and redo uh, next is uh, the edit option okay uh, it's 18 hours so here uh, in edit we can uh, you know we can uh, copy uh, this these values to a new sheet we can rename this particular uh, column uh, let me rename it and i'll make it segment segment value so see here i have renamed it, uh, this particular column okay so this is how it works uh, renaming column copy to a new sheet or to a new project if i uh, 
select copy to a new sheet this data this particular data will be copied to a new sheet uh, it's still loading okay so this is the data and I'll show you that this particular data will be copied mm, yeah see uh, our data is copied here uh, to a new sheet so we have this data here and the copied data here okay so this is how copy uh, will work uh, rename as you know delete we can delete a particular column uh, like if I select this one uh, directory uh, description okay if I select this one and then I go to delete column then uh, it will delete this particular column territory description see that column is now removed so uh, resolve duplicates so I can also remove duplicates here um, in any selected column in the whole sheet so uh, I can resolve duplicates and perform many operations see these uh, these operations and this flexibility was not there in um, the CSV option when when I uploaded uh, a simple flat CSV uh, I could not do all these things right so uh, uh, so this is uh, this is how uh, how our ETL tools help us to you know format the data before we uh, upload it to wave analytics so this this is uh, called uh, transformation so extraction means I have extracted I have uh, imported the data into uh, uh, into you know uh, uh, informatic rev and then I have uh, I'm transforming this particular data and then I'll load it so ETL I'll load this particular data in wave analytics okay so I can also hide a particular column uh, okay I can change case so I can uh, I can make it uh, uppercase for example uh, see uh, everything is now in uppercase okay uh, so this was upper case uh, and then extract left uh, the left value the middle value the right value uh, fill down value split uh, so trim white spaces we can also uh, remove the white spaces that are used for example after comma we have a white space we want to remove those white space uh, so we can click on trim white space and then it will remove all the white spaces in between uh, and it will join the whole data um, I'm sorry I think uh, uh, this trim will uh, this trim uh, did was if we have any white space after this uh, like I have this much white space it will trim it uh, down to zero white spaces okay uh, so uh, these are, are all the values okay uh, these are all options now I have the another option which is called merge so this is merge okay uh, in merge I have join sheets union sheets lookup categorize all these value uh, all these options available okay so uh, what these options actually do uh, see this uh, this will help to join two uh, two sheets which I uh, which I have here uh, if I say I want to join sheets uh, okay this is sales quota 3 sales quota 3 I want to join it with quota with sales okay if I want to join it with quota with sales so quota with sales is here so this is the sheet and this is uh, this is our left table and this is our right table okay and this is the joined uh, sheet okay And in join sheet, uh, what we uh, what we'll do is
we can also you know uh, change keys here uh, I'll show you what this option does uh, we can change keys like uh, for example we want to join these two sheets using uh, you know using some other um, using some other uh, column value for example here I've used ID with ID okay uh, if I had any other uh, column common in both the um, in both the uh, sheets then I could have joined those columns I could have compared those columns and then joined the whole sheet using those columns okay so let me give you the example again and uh, create keys join sheets and union sheets okay. so uh, uh, always remember when I join see I've joined it uh, using ID and it has 58,965 rows okay and now I'll perform a union union of sheets okay so I'll join union it with sales underscore quota okay uh, now what I'll do is I'll create keys myself okay so uh, see uh, this is uh, this is how uh, Informatica rev joined each and every column that it found with the same name so Informatica joined it itself okay so I could very easily you know uh, remove these values from here and I can join any value with any other value like for example I want to join ID I'll click on this I'll click on this and ID is uh, joined with ID if I do it this way then ID will be joined with RM quota okay so uh, I'll remove all the all the automatic um, created key pairs for example if you have an account uh, data and an opportunity data so what you will do is uh, you will uh, perform a join you will uh, select the account uh, you will select the opportunity sheet and then you'll click on um, union or uh, join you'll uh, you'll click on any one of them and then you will select account ID account ID will be present here account ID you will uh, select account ID and then you will uh, join it account ID with ID from the other uh, table uh, this means uh, account ID field from opportunity uh, the opportunity uh, table and the ID field from account table so I'm removing all the key pairs here we have so many key pairs here I want to associate it with just ID okay so uh, all the key pairs are now removed I'll click on this and then I'll put ID here okay and I'll say done so I'm joining ID just the ID field um, this means so these are remaining columns uh, so this means there are four date type columns there are 25 number type columns and 79 string type columns so uh, 
now i'll perform a union see uh so now I've got a union okay so uh, this is joint sheets and union sheets so basically um, uh, one will uh, you know one will append the values at the end and other will compare the you know the same values uh, if uh, matched value is found then the uh, corresponding values from the right table will be joined here in the left table so uh, this is basically the difference um, and then we have uh, some filters uh, we can also apply filters we can summarize we can uh, you know refresh okay so when I click on refresh I uh, I can refresh from the source uh, when I click on refresh from source what it will do is it will totally replace this particular um, this particular sheet with the sheet that I select for refresh okay so if I select uh, sales underscore quota so it will replace this data uh, that is is presented here already uh, with the one that I uh, choose for the replacement okay so this is basically over uh, overwriting the data that's present uh, there so with the original data that you upload okay then uh, this is sorting obviously uh, when you perform a sorting from A to Z this will sort sort the whole table from A to Z uh, let me show you an example see uh, first three uh, first numbers it will first sort the numbers and then a uh, okay and then we uh, we will have other uh, other data right a then b then c this way the data will be sorted uh, so next is uh, next is fx it is actually it actually means function so this is the same uh, like we use in uh, excel uh, here we can enter for uh, formulas and uh, the best thing is we have uh, syntax also we have syntax here like we want date and time uh, functions we can see date and uh, year month day okay so we can uh, we can use these formulas um, okay and we can also uh, use this particular function which returns the day from a particular date so this way these are the uh, you know these are the functions okay uh, and these are some logical functions if mm, this uh, thing is true then uh, then the value should be this or this so basically if else okay so these are the functions these are basically round off uh, particular number and uh, up to uh, how many number of digits round down round up so rounds the number up to a specified number of digits okay uh, so basically these are the functions that are available here in FX um, and this this is this filter uh, we can apply any filter like uh, I'll first select a column let me say C code description and then I'll apply a filter which values do I want to see in that particular column uh, let me say C4106 so I selected C code description right so I'll move on to C code description and I'll see that uh, this particular filter has been applied uh, where is C code description Let's see here it was 
this is C code description. So um, here I'll uh, see only those values uh, where this particular value is filled in. Okay, so it's taking some time to load. I think uh, it's not C code underscore description. So we'll have to search for that field first and then we'll be able to see that this field will only contain the value C4000. Okay, so it will just contain these values. So this is a filter. This is basically filter. If I click on clear all, then all the rows will be visible again, which is 41,051 rows. Okay so all the data will be visible in that case so this is how we use all these functions available here uh, so and uh, when you want to export when you have completed transforming your data you can click on uh, export and then you can uh, click on salesforce wave analytics and then yes obviously you need to uh, create a new connection and then you need to name and you need to provide the security token on all these things uh, security token did not arrive on my mailbox that's why so we can um, we can uh, do it this way and obviously uh, this is a map type okay this says that the type is US state uh, so we can uh, we can also change this to text okay so these are some of the um, uh, some of the things we can do using ATL tool okay so thanks for watching the video and that's all um, since it covers all the uh, all the functions here uh, in informatica rev so this was a overview of uh, the informatica rev etl tool thanks for watching the video bye for now